everyone on YouTube and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me, Kemzit. We're continuing on with Stefan Bathory, his campaign in Mission to Storm and Danzig after we have finished Mission 1 Shadow of the Crown, which is not the most funnest mission so far, in my opinion, from this campaign. Of course, it is very nice with how it has been uh, described and informed us about a nice bloodline in Transylvania, etc. And now we're going to continue on learning with his adventures. Uh, but before I'm going to be proceeding forward, I would like to inform you guys, if you'd like to play these custom campaigns or scenarios, make sure that you're on the main menu, go to the settings over here, press the mods button, and from there on, on top of your screen, you'll see a search bar here, and that is where you have to write Stefan Batori to find the uh, campaign and make sure that you subscribe to the respective language which you can communicate with in hopes to enjoy it at the fullest. But make sure that you also wait a little so that your PC can download the file and then you'll be able to activate it there in the mod section. And then you'll have to follow my footstep with a field mouse button to come over here and enjoy the game of course as said previously and always before. Now, with that said, we'll go to mission 2, Storm in Danzig. After obtaining the throne of Principality of Transylvania and Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, Stefan Bathory gradually discovered that Gdansk was planning to cede from Poland. As one of the most important ports and prosperous cities in Poland, Stefan could never sit idle by and watch Gdansk become independent. However, the Holy Roman Empire tried to intervene in this situation. Could Bathory seize control of Gdansk? That's a question which we shall see right now. Gdansk is the most prosperous uh, and powerful city within Poland, also an ideal homeland for the Germans. All a large German population arrived in Poland, vast land controlling the Baltic Sea trade routes and calling the shots. Gdansk is reputed as the Amsterdam of Eastern Europe, a title not just described in commercial prosperity, but also hinting at its remarkable military capabilities. This city boasts its own maritime forces and urban garrison, guarding the strongest city fortress on both land and sea. In Europe at that time, Gdansk maintained a standing force of 6,000 to 8,000 city militia, city artillery comprising of 65 small cannon, with its affluent economy it called upon more mercenary troops were needed to fortify all of Gdansk's defences. When Gdansk's envoys did not pledge allegiance to the new king in due time and instead clamoured for privileges, everyone realised this was an arrogant open rebellion inevitably leading to an armed conflict. I understand that the rebellion stemming from support from Emperor Maximilian II of Holy Roman Empire was driven by Gdanskers, the German among them self-styled as Danzigers, who may have sought direct ascension to the Holy Roman Empire, rejecting Poland's nurturing. When Jago Kralowsk and Bosk Stefan Bathory ascended the throne, the people of Gdansk saw the current le Polish leader as weaker and their rule as strong. A perfect opportunity for uprising authority. I heard that in the Battle of Lubisovs, uh, my teacher, the small city of Gdansk, fielded in as many as 12,000 troops, six times the size of the Commonwealth Army? Sejam always fails to muster the necessary supplies and troops in time, my teacher sighed, looking worn out but his eyes quickly lit up. 20,000 against 12,000 six-fold differences in forces, yet Gdansk was defeated under Jago Krolovsk Mosk leadership. What could be, what couldn't be achieved? <laughs> well, that's certainly a very good uh, manner that he proceeded forward with. All right, we're here, waiting for instructions now. Uh, okay, so what does he say? Jan Zamoysk, thank you for supporting me for the Polish throne. However, the bishop and the nobles of Gdansk are un still unwilling to submit my rule. Even plan to unite with external forces to influence the Commonwealth's foreign trade. Stefan, this is something we need to urgently address right now. What do you think about this? Uh, you mentioned, I think it's not realistic to capture Gdansk directly. They are highly influenced by the Holy Roman Emperor and the Ansetic League. And I heard that the employ of a large measure group and... Wait, what? 
and the Danish fleet. Now that our troops have reached Tejez, Jan Zaborel Sea will soon come into contact with Winkelberg's troops. Very good, if we go well, we can directly besiege Gdansk, of course, if we also need to control the Baltic seaports afterwards. Good. I don't know why this was done. Oh my god, so much food is gonna go to waste. Oh my god. After a while, Jan Zbrowski, and who's that? Brother Jan Wundberg's German mercenaries are at the gate. We must defend Chazelles, otherwise we will not be able to advance to Gdansk smil uh, smoothly. Pauls, you have gone too far. We will not let you get close to Gdansk easily. Okay, no need to waste uh, time. Talk to them. Artillery blow down the city gate. Attack. Brothers, we can't let them get into the city. Get out and destroy there. Artillery. Okay. Yeah, watch the fight in the jaws. Alright. They fail, obviously. So we're gonna save this too. Great. Damn, I didn't expect that the troops hired Gdansk were far more than we expected. I must go back and report to the Majesty. Now I have to get back to Malborg, there's no time to lose. It is General Zabros. Open the gate quickly, judging for his conditions. I'm afraid something serious has happened. Indeed. Your Majesty, forgive me from taking the liberty uh, of coming to Giselle's. I failed. The enemy's troops exceeded our expectations. I'm sorry. What how? What how could this let in? What, wait. Uh, what's such an important matter not reported to His Majesty in uh, in a timely manner? I think punishment is necessary. Wait, what is done is done. Punishing Zabrowski at this time will not be conductive to the next battle. It seems that the enemy has learned of our our plan first. It will be difficult for us to recross the Vistula River now, indeed. I'll be able to try and take these relics, hopefully. Fortnite the Gospels Beckers has sent troops to support us, uh, so, uh, so we have enough troops to fight against the Gadans and Danish army. However, we still need to retake uh, the Zells. Uh, Your Majesty has said so. I believe you've made a battle. I will help you in battle. Oh, sure. Don't worry, Your Majesty. As long as I have troops, I will take back a Tujil, Tujil, whatever. Right. Okay. Wait, I wanna. Yeah, here. Okay, hold on. Holy damn! So much. Bathora, I advise you to give up Gdansk. The locals do not agree with your rule compared to you. Maximilian is the one who can guarantee the prosperity of Gdansk, and your commonwealth will only bring them into disaster. And this time, the Danes have also sent a fleet to blockade the mouth of Vistula River and the Baltic. If you insist on doing so, it will be impossible for your you to continue trading in the future. Whatever, dude. We'll see about that. And let's just continue sending more troops that way. We're gonna also try to get some more wood outside here. Spravac. or so. I can't really pronounce these things. Oh, there we go. We got allies. Okay, so who's this? Uh, Stefan Darbury, I'll help you here. This is my recognition of your strength, Kaspar Begish. You mentioned as long as we take back to just uh, the locals, we will naturally stand on your side, and we can also smoothly cross the Vistula River and go straight to Gdansk. Well, we'll try to take it back as soon as possible, but the issue is the enemy certainly has a large army there, and we're going to have a lot of problems to try and take back what is ours. Stay here. Let the heroes return. We could now start making some of these things and go there. What? Yeah, we can make some good um, measuring as well. There. Also, what are you guys doing? What is this? Oh god, milk carts. We're getting free milk carts? Amazing. Continue recruiting more and um yeah we'll do some upgrades later. I'll just try to get a oh, hot fritonne! Why? Go to Fiesta. 
I hate this. The ally tastes. Okay, so what is the mission? The Sargadons, three castles, and the Vistulus uh, estuary fortress to capture the city. Defeat John Wickelberg's army, five people. Defeat the Danish army occupying El. L block for yellow, defeat the Danish fleet in the Baltic Sea or force them to retreat by capturing Gdansk and L block. Kill Jan Wickelberg, retake to just by destroying town set or castle orange. Um, try to protect uh, Gaspar Beckers from being defeated, which is green. Okay. Hints. At first, Jan Brzozowski will defend against the mercenary in Tejas, but he will soon fail, but you can retake the city later. Since Vistula River has just entered spring and the floating ice is not yet melted, you can build. You, you cannot build docks on the Vistula River until you defeat Danish army in El, El Blog. If you can cross the river, you must break through the Tejas and Kismark on the right, controlled by Jan Wickelberg's mercenaries, to take... Uh, to attack uh, Gdansk by land. If the El Blog, you can use Danish Navy equipment to improve your ship strength. Although the area around Gdansk is plain, you still have to be careful of enemy fortifications. When you destroy more than three, two Gdansk castles, Gdansk will lose the ability to build a fleet. Okay. Uh, you can find mercenaries in some villages to assist you in combat. Since Stefan Bathory has inherited the throne of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, you will use Polish technology tree from this level and research related technologies. Scouts. Who? Stefan Bathory won red, succeeds the throne to, as the new King Polo of Poland and Grand Duke of Lithuania. With the support of Minister Jan uh, Zamoyski, however, due to the high degree degree of autonomy in Gdansk, they have been more inclined to policies of the Holy Roman Empire, which makes them unwillingly to accept the Polish rule. Stefan Bathory has assembled his army in Bolborg, preparing to force Gdansk to surrender by force from his level. You will place Poles also because of the backgrounds in the 16th century. The military of the system of Poland is very different from that of the 14th and 15th centuries. You can train Huzari in the castle, which has strong attributes than ordering knights. While Oboch can also be trained in barracks, in addition, Zlachta Privilege has renamed Booklet Cossacks, which can increase the speed of gunpowder units and damage of cavalry to arches. After Imperial Age, you can be uh, you can research the Bathory military reform to improve the ability of Hazaria, and you can train Polish chaplains in the monastery as well. Jan Zborowski to Orange currently has an army stationed at the bridgehead of Tugel, but will soon face an attack from German mercenaries led by Jan Wickelberg and he will not be able to resist this massive offensive. Therefore, you will need to retake Tujau and attack Gdansk directly north. If Tujau is captured by you again, you they will assist you in battle. Gdansk 3 Sion is a relatively Germanized Polish city historically due to its close relationship with, from the Prussian Confederation and the Hanseatic League and its important port and trade center of the Baltic Sea. The city has considerable degree of independence tendency, which is unacceptable to Stefan Bathory, who has just taken office. Although they can obtain strong mercenaries from the Germans, including powerful cavalry, infantry, and crossbowmen to help defend the city. In addition, there is a small fleet stationed in the port. Although Gdansk is surrounded by planes, the locals still strengthen Gdansk's defenses, and sufficient troops are needed to advance during the attack. El Block for Yellow is another Polish city. Gdansk invited the Danish army to intervene and blockade the Baltic Sea. In order to prevent the Polish army from going out to the sea, their navy is large, but if you capture this city, you can use the naval technology to break the blockade and even attack Gdansk from sea. Jan Wilkenberg's army fights sea on a station in Prydzis. Gdansk on the left and Kismark on the right. These two cities are only the way to Gdansk. Once these two cities are captured, Gdansk will be under siege, and if you plan to ignore these two cities and attack Gdansk, they will attack you from behind at any time. It is recommended to capture these two cities before you attack Gdansk. Their army is equipped with short-range power... Uh, short-range but powerful pistol cavalry and hired cavalry and pikemen. Will cause you more tr some trouble for your army. If you defend them, I mean defeat them, you can improve the morale of the Polish army and research, uh, research a Sazyak Tawazi uh, order again. And of course, on Twitch, we get someone offering some scummy uh, services.
but we banned him, of course. Now, with that said, uh, Gus Popek as 3 Green initially lost his bid for the Voivod of Transylvania to Stefan Bathory and agreed to follow his rule. Although he's not very optimistic about Stefan's rule, he will still help in this war. Since he no longer has Habsburg support, he will no longer train Teutonic Knights to fight, but his army will still attack with more mobile units and can also train winged hussars. Jan Wilkeberg 7 Blue is a battle-hardened warrior himself. This time he was invited by Gdansk to help defend the city. His garrison will form the first line of defense outside the city. There are also some locals, a Grey, who don't want to be hired by Jan Wilkeberg, so perhaps you can pay them to do so. Alright, sure. Hello there. Okay, what does he say? Uh, hello, do you need any mercies? Uh, I know you're worried about attacking Gdansk recently, but as long as you pay the right price, we will join you. Sure, we can do that, but right now I don't really care. Alright, I also got the relic that was. Run, 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 run. Good. Now we're getting some more resources, finally. Yay! I'm happy. Not entirely, honestly, but okay. Uh, what is this? A villager. And he's working. Ooh. What I should also do is make some castles here to defend myself from enemy invasions. Oh, hot for the moment. Perfect. Holy shit! That's a lot of enemy armies there, what the fuck? Also, why is my... Please don't make a move. Okay, oh, Block this. Oh great, of course. There's also Bombard Cannon there. <laughs> oh my god, this campaign! Why? Hold oh, for Dumb Man, this is so stupid. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna restart this real quickly. It's just scummy, man. It's scummy. Come on, restart this dumbass shit. Oh fuck! Of course we're right. There we go. Okay, everyone. Uh, on Twitch and YouTube. I mean, we restart now again. With the recording. Let's just go. Uh, it's just so absurd. This campaign. I'm. I'm. I'm seriously considering to not continue on here. <laughs> Absurd how they just come over here with dozens of troops. Allies that I'm gonna take relics to Jack. I'm just gonna build on my economy first and then just consider moving on later. Oh, I will maybe make some castles here about or something. I don't know. Of course, he's gonna try to even take the relic. Fuck off. No. You guys also come back here and get into the castle. We'll start making some of those towns here. No, fuck off. I'm not allowed to take it up. Be gone. And then continue on with getting farms again. <sighs> I'm not gonna hire any mercenaries. I just wanna clear my flank first. Now we're. Outnumbered by 10. Like, there's many ways to create a fun campaign. I've said it many times to uh, on many of my videos for like not only campaigns of Age of Empires 2 but also on different games as well. Make sure that you focus solely on the element for having uh, the player to have fun. Challenges are welcome, but those challenges need to be able to be counted and not just by only spamming units or so, or just offering them uh, 
a challenge of trying to find out what tactics they will use or so. Like, it doesn't make sense. I don't know, it's just so dumb. I don't know. Either way, we're done here. I'm gonna make some castles here as well. Well, now nah, let's just make it here. I'm not gonna get too close. Let's go. There we go. We'll start getting some wood here because we're gonna need it. I actually kind of wanna have these guys hunt, and then I'll start improving some of these technologies. We'll also try to get these things going forward here. We're not gonna make many archers this time, so I'm gonna skip them because we're gonna have some good um, units. I'll just only scout a little bit with my monk too. We're gonna improve this, of course. We're gonna get some better food soon. Anyway, nice. Get food, get food. Get food. Go ahead. Get our food. Quickly! We can get our stone soon too. Perfect. How much else food we can get here? Oh, what for dumb? Why do you walk around? How high? Why do you even place this here? Move this away! There's no need to make it so nice and all that. We're not playing Sim City over here. Good, kill those. Hello, silly as uh, mercenaries. There we go. Now, since we're also poles, our farms are gonna be very efficient and we'll use them quickly. Oh shit, why do I research this way? Let's make more villagers here, come on. Let's get whatever. Get a gold. We might also need some people here to get our stone. Good. Nice. Can I not make any more farms here? I'm just so tight in position again. This is what I mean. Right, let's just make it here then. Fine. I'm sure I'm gonna regret this. Like, I don't want to be too negative constantly, but you know, he's probably gonna attack me from the other side too. Let's actually try to at least prepare for it. Oh. Um, yeah. Mm, I don't care about you guys, honestly. Um, let's get this going. These are the Hussarians. Good. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna just need to get a wood so we can make more farms. Like, honestly, we're so full here. Let's get a more gold. This is what I mean. I just do not have enough space to get a sort says. Get a wood. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, I know that's it. Right. Why are you not working on a farm? Come on. 
Okay, everything else seems to be fine. Food is sprung in. Finally. Get her gold. Okay, this is some good positions, I think. I think I could make another few castles there to just protect myself even more. Let's buy up some stone again. Just to make sure of it. Um, here I go. <clears throat> yeah, we have a fine economy now. Uh, this last upgrade, do we have everything on the mark? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Um... Ooh, that's good. Let's just first get this going though. Well then, um... These villagers are still delivering it to this thing, like, it doesn't... Do yeah, these mo cards are broke. Whatever. They don't work, then I'm not gonna bother with keeping them. Why would I? Also, um... Yeah, I definitely wanna get our gold there. We're gonna need more. Let's get some people there too. Yeah, we're full. Um, I just cannot make any more other places to get our food. Well, maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be painful. Well, you know what? Let's just cut the wood over here. You know what? I sincerely will make a lot of Hussite Wagons because I know that I'm not going to be able to spam those um, carts in this mission. Plus we're getting a lot of wood to make space over here. Like, there's barely any space for us to get our resources from. Um, okay. Damn it. I could maybe move this away and make a farm here, some farm there. Yeah, this is all I can do. Okay, we're fine. Economy wise, yeah, we're pretty much full even with villages. Uh, but this cleared out what we needed, right? Let's destroy this, make a new thingy there. One, two, three, four, there. Good! Yeah, we'll continue like this. Okay, enough villagers. Let's make some here. Let's now get this research up and going, and then we'll start attacking again. How's the situation here? Um, you guys come here and get our wood over there. Come on. I need the area clear. There's no food that you can get her. Pity. What's wrong? Where are they? Oh, there we go. We got some good army now. We've even gone over the population limit. <laughs> kind of cheaty, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna make a lot of men for sure though, so let's go. We're sending even forward our army of thingies here to make a breach over here. We need to destroy that castle and all that. So, let's go now. Hello there dudes. Let's start the fight. Go ahead. I'm done with your dudes. Oh, shit. Nice. A 
their defenses shall falter. Now here, the conquistadors there. Seriously, why? Such a pathetic thing. And yeah, we've lost all our men too. Surely they're spamming a lot of men too here. Oh my god, we're even stuck here. Slaughter. One thing is for sure, we'll destroy that. Come on. And now you guys can be go back to work. Come on. Open the gates. Let's destroy this tower. Oh, you're great, of course. Our allies are getting attacked too. Well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You have to do it on your own, and of course, yeah. Yeah, I'm, well, I maybe can save one small detachment of units here to help him. Okay, now, the enemy doesn't attack anymore. Press on and destroy that quick. I shouldn't destroy it entirely, but you know, I need some backbone. We've got their allies now. Hold on. You'll be safe. I'll need now my cavalry myself. I still wonder why I cannot make more cavalry here. Certainly not because we're lacking gold. Actually we do. I wanna gather the gold there, but I can't. Well, we give up the resistance. Uh, if those German mercenaries were... Who forced to do this? Actually, sure. Uh, citizen to follow His Majesty Bathory, you will gain greater benefits than in the Holy Roman Empire. Well, that's good, of course. Finally. Good. Oh man. Such an annoying sit situation we have been. Now let's get more gold elsewhere. Come here. And where's the gold? There was gold here. I think it's there. Well, whatever. Go that way. And uh, we now can even destroy more of this. Get closer here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, great. Our allies are attacking them already. Good. 
Very good. Indeed. How about we... I need some villages. We do have quite a few here and there. How about you guys come here? We're gonna stop making many castles to protect our ally here. It costs me a lot, honestly, but okay. Here then. Move, you idiot! Not as yellow. If we can kill a block, we could be fine too. But yeah. Oh my god. Just this. Why are there such dumb AI here? Yeah, of course, and there's also AI there. Right, whatever. Just kill. Guys, just move through here then. Oh, finally he's moving, you dumbass. Jestem sprawiaczką. Witajcie. Sprawiacz. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a few more of these. Send some of those way. I would just go this way, check it out. Hi guys, I don't. There's a lot of gold here too. Oh, our allies are getting attacked too? Pity. We need to make way for ourselves a little. Oh, there's a few nice carts here. Oh, my allies attacking too good. Is there any? No, there's no monks here. Good. Previously there was, but yeah. How are we gonna destroy purple again? Uh, yeah, we'll destroy his army. Good. Nice, we're annoying him. Fire the enemy is coming, sure. Try. To be fair, they're pretty much dead anyway. Wait, where's the rest of the army? I'm supposed to have some more trebuchets here. Oh fuck, he's here. What the hell? Well, purple is pretty much dead. Oh god. Of course, they're gonna flank us here.
Destroying one of these cities will certainly help us a lot. Now that enemy here are gone, I'll be safe to continue on. And we're gonna be able to make more cavalry. Let's go, lads, let's go! Destroy. Blue got some defense there too. Finally, holy damn, we're pushing through. Come sit for a while when you have time. I don't have time, honestly. Oh wait, there's even. Oh my god, can't even come sit. Also open gates over here, just in case. Now this army and enemies are done for, they won't be able to pester us too much anymore. And why are you not joining the battle? What are you doing? Open gates here too, prepare to advance. And yeah, now let's move. One of the enemy towns here are destroyed, so that's good. We're now gonna advance to the other town here. Hello! Let's move through here. Come on, fall back. We come from Netherlands, but. Wait, what do you say? Uh, from Netherlands, but Jan Wickelberg gave us little. You look like Richard, so we want to join you. Uh, Custodia, yeah, okay, sure. sure. Where exactly are you guys? Oh, sure, firstly, hello. Certainly will allow you to join my services. Oh. How about we quickly open this gate too? There we go. We'll destroy these people too now. And we're we'll start pressing on the one more thing right here. There's a lot of gold here too, friends. Get her it. Come on. Time to march on. Hold a small garrison of units here, just in case. And the rest can advance that way. Good! Uh, right. Surely we're gonna need more castles here too. Now this castle and I'll be happy. Be gone from these lands, honestly. Hold on. Move along! Hold this position and you guys march on. Charge! Charge! We will get in to the dance from here. What are you talking about? Let's make some of those. See that for the enemy. Open the gates! Destroy the castle and kill this trebuchet quickly. Finally, pushing through again. Of course, we're gonna be getting attacked from the other side here too. Need to spot. I think my ally is gonna be able to handle it. I don't know. Always we are again outnumbered ten to one constantly, but to be fair, we're still fine. I think so far. 
destroyed his wonder and like wonder what the fuck town I mean temple of course they got more reinforcement we're being invaded from this side they got another castle there great what is not so god so annoying yeah, oh my god orange you're so useless so useless here too. Well, green and yellow are fighting nicely, so that's good, I guess. Well... I'll destroy that castle too, I'll be happy, come on. I'll be a happy boy, maybe. I'll maybe be a happy boy. Well, we do have a lot of food, holy damn. Uh, where's my... There we go. We got a lot of food and we can use it to buy and sell this. Open the gate here too. Another castle has been destroyed. Kill them. Hello, we meet again. And uh, you can see well. Where? You got Tommy Tom. I don't know what that is, but okay. Oh god, why do they attack me now too? At any point, purple is nearly dead. He just has a big army still there too. What my mercenaries, uh, my battle-hardened soldiers just failed in Poland. Now we can research. It's okay, sure. That's okay. We got now more men here. Wonderful. Going to open the door for them. We need backup? Yeah, you sure do. I'll first kill them. I'm not gonna attack yellow, let us also research this. Go ahead. What is up going with you guys? You can get our gold here. You can come over here and um, get our gold there. You guys can come over here and get our gold here. Good. Open the gate and time to kill yellow. And then we'll kill purple, whatever. Not annoying 
else and stop chasing me. Like, this is just annoying. Like, orange, just attack, help, slaughter, kill. Do I have to do everything on my own? Alright, let's fall back here. Reinforcements is coming, my friend. We'll kill them for you. The Danes have blocked the sea. We can't f even fish now. Well, too bad. What do you want me to do about it? Help you? Well, fine. I'll help you. Just give me a moment. I'm literally need so many castles here. Let's rest of my army. Oh, they're on the way. Good. Hey! Another few men here. They are bugs again! This is what I mean why you need to pay, uh, take heed of not making so many of those uh, blockading things. Wait, you guys. Come on. Go. 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 I'll have the gates open for you guys. How do you feed yellow? Um Yellow. Defeat the enemy fleet or force them to capture. Okay, uh, destroy. Okay. Just look at their armies here. We're cause being overwhelmed by them. That's making a way for our troops. And again, we need to sell some more resources here. No other choice. The Poles are planning to break through Elbuck. Send someone. No, they shouldn't. They're making Vikings again. Damn it. No, but of course I'm making more men here too. Help me! Hold for dumb man. All the other place altogether. Like, there's so much pressure. Green is also like halting his army there. I don't know why. Like he's being dumb. Orange is at least marching. He's so useful. You guys attack that. Wait, no, stop. Attack that. Good job. Keep going. Oh, 
Retreat, retreat! Quickly, we can't defeat the poles on land! Of course not. Get out of here, dude. We have acquired relevant technologies for the dock. Uh, looks like the thing is left or something good. Uh, use the ship thing. I don't really care about their blockade anymore. Now we can start retreating. We don't care about their units here either. We're just gonna start decking blue and all. Who cares about Gdansk, its troops anymore? All these little towns are done for. I did dest destroy them to kill and all. Like, I cannot really move and make troops there, so it's gonna be difficult to go forth. Right. Let's move them away. And of course, our ally already gets the relic here. Jerk. It's so annoying. Right, well. Woodcutter! What are you guys doing? Schools. Uh, I'm very pained. I just die. What are you guys doing? Like there's green, there's orange, but both of them are very weak. I think I should start trading with some of them, or maybe there's market here. Hold on. Get closer with market, please. I don't know why they're attacking that. Do you have a market? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, hundred gold. It says I don't believe a word about that. Mm -hmm. I might wanna make a more... How about you check that out? We should have actually maybe made some more trade earlier. How about we just stop trading here? Let's go. We'll see how the situation will unfold. Press on, boys. Destroy their blockade here! Well done. Oh great. So many enemies here now too. Unacceptable. Gather gold. Oh my god, the gas is
Now, green is attacking too, that's good. Hold on. I'm still very low on gold, however. Ah, damn it. I've now opened a road for you lads. Keep going. Oh god. I'm really tempted to just actually stop. Uh, how do you call it? Get goods in a different way. How much gold do we get? 18. Well, it's still something. I don't know. Oh god. Okay, let's sell some more food. Or oh, wood too, welcome. Yeah, there's nothing too bad. Did I lose? Yeah, I did lose one treasure. Oh god, I'm not happy about that. At least green is also making way inside and all, but not the right way. Come on, Seven, let's end it in Gdansk, surely, you bastard. Come here. Oh, he has also got some more resources. Interesting. Bastard, die. Kill Yom Wickelberg, he's dead now. Don't think my men are blah blah blah. Whatever, dude. Jan Wickelberg, you should just leave Gdans. Where has your Ergens gone? I mean, he's pretty much dead anyway now. So, no worries. Destroy this now. And now the castle, and then we'll press on this way. Still low in gold. Very low in gold. Where's my... oh. Destroy the fertuar! That's it. Keep on attacking this. I don't care how, what, where, when. Just move. And don't destroy this wonder. Come on. What are you guys doing? Also, I might need to go through the outside. Let's go. We'll destroy this castle from here. Because it would seem the enemy is just gonna simply outnumber us 10 to 1. Now let's pass with his army. 
Uh, where are you guys heading? Okay. Oh my god, why are you guys so stupid? Uh, let's sell some more wood. I mean food. Wood is also welcome, actually. Sell some more. Here we go! Yes, where's the rest of the army? I don't see any. They're still in their way. Okay. Do we... Yeah, we have one unit here. Okay, the rest of them... Come over here. Uh, come over here as well. Go that way. Let's go. You guys come too. Let's go. We have very few units, but it shall be fine. Because we're gonna destroy the last two castles and we shall be done. Hopefully. We have pretty much destroyed many of the enemies, their units, etc. And weakened them. Only problem is, like, there is still a navy that way, so they'll probably hurt me as much as possible. And they have a navy over here, and I really cannot do much against them because, again, we do not have much play space to build a. Uh, how should I say? Navy. Like, even if we make a navy here, we won't be able to destroy the navy here, so it's gonna be hard. Uh, it's just annoying. I, I, I wouldn't prefer this to go. Let's go. Unless we do have a bit more wood to sell. Let's go. We have nearly used all our forces. And we're now marching on. Now once we destroy these two fortresses, we will be victorious! And this mission shall be done. Again, I didn't like the beginning at all. Nor do I like the ending here. And yeah, I saw them. Why are you attacking this building here? Why? What, what, what are you doing? And the AI constantly sends such small men amount of men. Elbog is dead, but they're just, I don't know, chilling. They're just literally just chilling around here at the sea. They're like, huh, why not stay in these waters? They're very nice. Now anyway, oh god, here they come, of course. Fire! Well, fuck you! How about that? The enemy has broken through the fortifications! We have already indeed, so what are you talking about? Let me open the pot for you guys. Here we go, even more. Finally. Oh, of course. Of course. You'll just screw around here. Can we destroy this thing already? Thank you. Destroy this now. You guys destroy the, uh, the stable instead. Let the castle die by the trebuchets! And the rest of the army shall march that way. Good. Now we won't have much more trouble with this archer range even. You guys can move there. You guys can just annoy them. Start turning around and start attacking them. Continue on attacking the archer ranges. Press on here. Go ahead. And move along. Nice! Finally! Holy damn! Come on boys! They bugged again. Let's go. Dead. Attack and shoot all enemies into the sea to feed the fishes. We'll see. The last fortress shall be destroyed. GG That was literally a tower there, holy damn Stop King, uh, stop it King Stefan, we are wrong, uh, please forgive us uh, for God's sake uh, Praise the God for today, good dance belongs to the Polish Lutheran Commonwealth Do you think he can attack? Okay, however, we still uh, have to face the initial blockade, good dance and Elbog We must expel them, oh my god Oh, there we go, they left I don't know what 
they sit here, but uh, yeah, and they just render. Uh, without the support of the Danish fleet, Gdansk no longer uh, has the capital to blockade the open sea, indeed. And we've now won. Good. GG. We wrecked them entirely. Now Gdansk, uh, okay, so now Gdansk uh, and its surrounding have returned to the rule of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. The nobles who oppose me no longer speak uh, out, and those foreign forces no longer dare to interfere here. Your Majesty, our struggle in the East is under attack from the Russians. Ivan the Terrible took action when we were not paying attention. The bastard! How dare he! It seems that Ivan Terrible is trying to take advantage of the civil unrest in the Commonwealth to cause chaos. Let's go! Our Hussarias, it's time to teach those boils a lesson. Indeed! Wreck those vile Rus! Uh, I'm well aware uh, of the later story where Sir Jem eventually provided the siege troops needed, even with a decisive field battle. Uh, Gdansk, the commercial powerhouse with a strong fortification, did not easily yield. Countless desperados arrived as mercenaries in their eyes set only on gold. In long war of attrition, Poland lost numerous artillery pieces and infantry due to our lack of expertise in that area. What I heard, my teacher, that you were rescued by Jego Krolowsk Mosk, Stefan Bathory, in that battle. I casually asked, yeah, because I launched a foolish raid. Three days later, Gnan surrendered and agreed to extensive preparations. Stanislav, did you think only you were capable of fighting in your youth? My teacher suddenly become, became serious. Your teacher was once a brave but reckless young man as well. He sighed deeply. Alas, Yegor uh, Krolowsk Mosk could equally disturb his love to everyone. Well, I couldn't even make you, my student, feel my love. Okay. <sighs> well, as I said, it was quite a bit of a difficult mission, and honestly, I don't think paying thousand gold to get a pair of swordsmen would be worth like, especially these swordsmen, like. No. If it was these, I'd still say no, honestly. Like, it's not worth it. And, um, yeah, we really face a lot of enemies. Like, this is one. This is another one with two fortresses and literally sites to attack you. This is another one. Then you have Teal. Then you have also Blue inside. It's just... <sighs> but anyway, we finished it. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna continue on fighting in Mission 3. Eagle fight against a bear. But for now, this is it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you want to recommend something we're going to game together? That's possible as well. Straight down comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat, -chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys later.